So Alistair, you were personally involved in the sale of this machine to CMS Sepcor. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, yeah, what happened was the guys were looking for a large vertical lathe. So they wanted a, a two metre swing. Uh, so we've gone for the VL160 CM with a 1600 table. Um, the ability of this machine usually has a 1200 RAM, but as you can see, we've, we've been able to give them a 1500 mil RAM, which gives them bigger capacity to the bigger parts. So 1500 mil in the Z axis, That's as great. opposed to what would normally be 1200? It'd be 1250 standard, but we're able to extend it and it's gone to 1500. And the table diameter on this machine is 1600, but you can get a bigger part than the actual diameter of the table. That's correct, we've got a two meter swing. And the machine itself, so we know a little bit about Honor because we've looked at them before. It's a very heavy duty machine. What, what were the, some of the, the, the reasons or the features about the machine that made them opt for this model? Some of the key selling points to the machine is the uh, tool holder, the RAM. Uh, standard, a lot of standard machines may have two, three, four ton clamping force on the tool but with Honor, we're able to do 10 tonnes of clamping force. So we've given 10 tonnes of clamping force, the, the rest of the machine has to be a lot stronger, more rigid, so we're able to take bigger cuts and give you, you know, a lot better uh, machining capabilities. So bigger cuts, so I suppose most of the components going on this machine would be large parts, so that could equate to time savings and eventually cost savings. That's correct, yes. So what are the options that you can have on this machine and what options did CMS actually go for? CMS upgraded the machine to have a solid lock system which gives you the 10 tonnes of clamping force on the tool. So with that we've been able to get 12 tools in the tool station. Uh, they've opted for an angled milling head which is BT40. Uh, we've got grinding attachments for internal and external grinding. Through spindle coolant, we've got so you can have probing on the machine, tool setters on the machine. Um, we have elevated rail system which locks in position so depending on the height of the parts the machine they're able to do. We've got 1500 on the RAM, so with that, and we've even gone for the 31i uh, B model on the Fanuc control as well. So this machine is comp this is spec'd up to the maximum. This really is the, the highest specification you get on the machine. So DTS handled the whole installation here. I noticed that the machine is actually in a pit. Why is that? That's correct. Uh, here we have five meters under the crane. And because of the machine, obviously going for the extended ram, it's actually just over seven metres uh, in height. So they've had to dig a pit, and as you can see, we were able to get the machine in. Uh, we managed it, we brought the machine in, our team uh, arranged all the craneage, fitted the machine in, and now we're starting to see the machine starting to work, and now we're going to get the training going for the customer. So DTS handled everything from start to finish? That's correct, yes. So where was the machine made and assembled? It was made in Taiwan and uh, on the buy-off, CMS decided to come out to the Taiwan factory and sign the machine off themselves. Uh, the beauty of that, they can see where the machine's been manufactured, they can see the other style of machines they do, and Honor only manufacture vertical lathes. They also do grinding, especially grinding machines as well, but mainly vertical lathes. So that swung it for you, the fact that the guys went over there, they saw how impressive the facility was? Yeah, I think so. I think they could see that what goes into the building of the machine, um, Honda have been going for 30 years and they've got their experts in, in, in vertical turning so uh, it, it really did help and they're very impressed. And do you think you'll see another one in here soon? I hope so. So Chris, what does CMS Sepcor do? Our company CMS Sepcor is a supplier of wear parts and replacement parts to the mining and quarrying industries and general mineral processing industries. So you machine not only new parts but you, you do refurbishments as well? Yeah, we, we repair components, we manufacture new components, and we sell to worldwide to over 100 different countries. And this factory here, you, you bought this two years ago? Uh, just over two years ago, we've only occupied it for two years now. And there's a lot of investment gone on, I mean, there's a lot of new machine tools, how much have you, how much have you invested? A total investment on this site would be in excess of 4 million. And on machine tools themselves? Uh, it'd be roughly 50% of that. And you made the decision to go for the Honor Vertical Lathe. What prompted that? Really, we evaluated probably four different manufacturers of machines, uh, DTS and Honor obviously being one of the solutions we evaluated. And probably what won it for them was the, the flexibility they had in being able to adapt the machine to our needs, uh, as it is heavily modified machines to what we wanted to do. Because you've also got other DTS machines here as well with the Correa, did that have an influence? Uh, yes, it did. We we have received nothing but outstanding service from DTS, 
uh, with the machines that we, we purchased from them. And I'm sure that will continue with the Honor. So for us, it, it made sense to buy off someone we already had a good relationship with.